Life is a history. History guides you towards your ambition. And your determination makes you succeed. And this is my story. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. It looks like you are a stranger around here. Of course I am. My name is Bello. And I am on a journey to a distant land. I would appreciate if any one of you could be kind enough to offer me a shelter for a while before I proceed on my journey. Man, good day. Mm. Welcome to Tomasha Land, uh, Mr. Bellu. As you can see, our people are very friendly and we also accommodate strangers that prove to be of good character. Um, however, our tradition dictates that one does not accept a stranger until he introduces him to the palace. That's great. I really welcome that. My name is Saminu and here is Tale. Yes. I'll personally accommodate you if our king deems it proper. I have come along with a stranger. His name is Bello. And he's on his way to a very distant land. I greet you, Your Majesty. Shall we know you, son? I am from Glamaland, a two-month journey from here. And I am on the way to Salbana, a very remote place as far as I know. Salvana, you said? You are indeed on a long journey, son. We have never even heard of a land called Salvana. We will host you as you have requested. But there are certain rules you will have to abide by as long as you stay in my land. Your Majesty, I'm ready to abide by the rules. Well, Malam Bello, in our land, one is expected to be honest and peace loving. Whatever the king wants is what you do. You will be allowed to live freely and participate in farming and trading of your choosing. However, once in a week, you will have to work on His Majesty's farm. From sunrise to sunset. If you dare commit an offense, it will not only affect you, but also your host. You mark my word. Are you willing to abide by these rules? I appreciate the gesture, Your Majesty. Then you have become our guest. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. This, this, this is my house. Assalamu alaikum. Aminu alaikum and salam. Laure. Yes, madam. Hi. 
This is my house. Malam, here you are. Oh, thank you. God, God bless you. Amen. <laughs> um, Laure, here is our guest, Dello. He will stay here with us for a moment before proceeding on his journey. Welcome, Bello, and I hope you will enjoy being here with us. May God reward you. Don't mention it. And by the way, Islam encourages us to always be nice to our guests. Yes, we are always told that uh, God rewards those who are kind to others. Bello, uh, let's eat. Okay. <laughs> I could eat a horse. <laughs> Thank you. You're God bless you. Thank you. Tumashe is a very nice place. <laughs> Bello. Let's eat before I take you to, to, to your room. Okay. I feel at home. This is, this is my, my house. <laughs> this is my house, Bello. Mm. Yes, no, thank you. God, God, God bless you. <laughs> um, Once again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My Dodo, huh? your beautiful face looks like fresh pineapple. <laughs> That's why I love you all the time. You have no idea how much I cherish our relationship. That's what you always say. But the truth is, my love for you is far beyond any description. Wow, all I'm waiting for is the day we are going to be a husband and a wife. So that those village vultures will give you breathing space. <laughs> ah. You know what? I love you more than anything. I love you with all my heart. More than anything I can say. I am forever yours. And you already know it. More than any other person. See this bastard. Go. You? Why are you shouting my name out? I keep telling you that I don't want you. I told you several times to leave this girl because she is not the kind of girl someone of your status deserves. You better watch your mouth and settle your case with her. I have no time for you. Little brat. Today I will say the truth so that this little guy will know the difference. Wahi. We are rich and influential in this land, and we are the true descendants of the natives, not migrants. You should not be chasing something with me, poor bastard. Don't ever call me a bastard again, and if you do it, then I will break every single bone of your body. I must, because I know your secret. You are not a native of this land. You are the son of a migrant prostitute. Hey! Stop it, Tanko! Go back! Don't try it. Don't touch him. It is true, you are a bastard. A fool bastard. And if you don't believe me, go and ask your so-called mother. Indo, go home. I say go home. Watch me, I'll be back for you. I'm not a bastard. 
And above all, I am not just an ordinary person like those idiots. I will find a way to discover my identity. Bello. Go in peace. I'm sure God will protect and guide you wherever you are. He will help you succeed in your mission, even for the sake of your late father. Good. I will see you again by the grace of Allah. By the way, Bello. I have to tell you this. Life is full of difficulties and challenges. What are you suggesting, mother? You need a great deal of experience through interacting and socializing with people. I know you will come across different societies in the course of your journey. So I suggest you live with them peacefully. Thank you, mother. May God protect you. And? It isn't easy working on a farm. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed it. No complaints. Mm. Um, Bello, you are going to work on the king's farm the day after tomorrow. I'm aware of that and I will be ready, Malam. Um, you told me that you are on your way to a very distant land. What are you going there for? I'm going there in search of my family. I was told that my family is based there. Oh, Malam, I forgot to tell you that Tele has promised to take me out tonight to see the town. Okay, that's great. <laughs> dancer in the entire land. Yes, and everybody knows it. Oh. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Please stop laughing. Yes. Tele is right. 
<laughs> See you. You don't even feel it necessary to introduce your friend. Forgive me, my queen. I was carried away by your dance steps. This is Bello. He's my friend. He came from another land. And Bello, this is uh, my fiance, Uela. And her friend, Ladidi. Oh, welcome, Bello. Welcome, Bello. You look great. And uh, Ladidi, mm -hmm. you look beautiful too. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Uh, this has reminded me of Malam Zuruki and his, and his friend Abu Bakr Imam in Ruam Bagaja. Are they your friends? <laughs> Malam Zuruki and Abu Bakr Imam. Who are they? You've never told me about them. Don't tell me that you do not read Ruam Bagaja in your primary school. Primary, primary school? school? Don't you know that formal education is prohibited in this land? We've never been to school all our lives. It's strictly prohibited. Oh my God. This is serious. More serious than you love, Ladi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, good night. Good night. Good night, my queen. Good night. Uh, yeah. I'm jealous. <laughs> Madam. It looks like there are no schools in the entire land. Does this mean that the people of the land did not go to school to acquire formal education? Did you say formal education? Formal education in this land is considered to be a way of corrupting uh, the people's mind. The king has put in place strict measures against anything that will promote that kind of education. But formal religious education should be acquired simultaneously. They should go hand in hand. Your people need some civilization indeed. Don't even dare mention it publicly in this land or else the king will expel you after subjecting you to terrible punishment. But this is wrong. The world is moving forward, but your leader is denying you people the right to progress. Why this? I know, I know, I know. What I have forgotten to tell you is that our king is cruel and merciless. Nobody dares to stand in his way. So, watch your step. Help yourself. All know the rules and traditions of this land. Marlon Salisu. Your Highness. Who has been deceiving the parlance? 
is fond of running away every farming period with some flimsy excuses just to avoid walking on my farm. As a result of this, he will receive 50 strokes of cane and will be locked for three months with hard labor to serve as a deterrent to those who think they can violate our rules and get away with it. I promise never to do it again. Be quiet! <laughs> For this reason, you are to receive 70 strokes instead of 50. It's grateful, your highness. Give it to him! Uh, oh. Please, please, mercy, no, 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 A, A, B, B, C, C. Okay. Uh, you should repeat one by one. Mala Okay. This is what? This is B. No, this is A. A. Okay, this is what? B. This is what? This is A. No, this is C. C. A. Uh -huh. C. No, B. B. And this what? C. Uh huh. A. Mm -hmm. B. Mm -hmm. C. That's good. Tell me. A. Uh huh. B. Uh huh. C. C. Uh huh. A. Uh mm huh. -hmm. B. Uh huh. C. <sighs> Please, please, I need water. Help me with water. Please. Yeah, take this is the water. Bello, the stranger, was caught teaching these young men Western education. Your Majesty, this has been banned in this land for years. I have always suspected this stranger to be a stooge who has been sent by the white people to corrupt our people. He is hereby banished from my land and will be escorted out by a crowd of people cursing him. And as for you who violated our laws and customs and engaged in this indecent act you will be locked for a month with hard labor and you malan saminu or rather evil saminu you will strictly work on my farm till the end of the rainy season. Yes. Inside of the king.
<laughs> well, 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 well. I hope you are happy now. Happy? I am more than happy. Mm. Happy that the king has dissolved my marriage instantly. Let me tell you a secret. From the moment the king set his eyes on you, ah, he fell in love with you. That is why he didn't allow your useless husband to talk. Hmm. You are now going to be one of his concubines. You're a king's mat. I'm so happy. Garbati, what can I do to reward you? Me? Well, do not worry. You will know <laughs> when the time comes. Then I can offer anything. Anything? Anything. Well then, expect my king's invitation very, very soon. Oh my god. If you don't mind, I will take my leave now. My king's concubine. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Garbati. Oh my god. She kamra iska, pataram akhmiti arusa. Sadao na bago amamu, gulbi kakache mai gadama. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Dear brother, if you don't mind, I would like to follow you to your house so that I can stay for a few days before I proceed on my journey. Please. No, you can't. Our town is indeed not far from here, but we are facing an insecurity. There is a war between our town and a neighboring village, and our king cannot accommodate any stranger for that matter. Dear brother, as you can see, I'm harmless. I came from a very distant land. I'm a threat to nobody. Please. That's not the point, my friend. Our town is indeed not far from here, as I told you earlier, but I will take you to the crossroads and show you a way to one peaceful village. It will take you three or four days to reach there. That would mean a lot. I'm grateful, dear brother. Don't mention it. You can come with me. Okay, thank you. I am really impressed that you have come at this very time. My king, I appreciate what you did to me and I'm happy to be among your concubines. My God had previously told me about your beauty. So the moment I saw you, I realized that you deserved me. Not that ugly, lazy, useless husband of yours. 
That's good. <laughs> then what next? Can we proceed? Of course, my king. I'm all yours. Do as you please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My people, shall we eat? I know you are tired and hungry. Let's eat, okay? Hey, young man, who are you? My name is Bello. How can we help you, gentlemen? And I am on my way to a distant land called Selbana. My name is Prince Abdullah. And here are my companions. Selbana is a long way from here. It's about a month journey on a horse. How do you intend to get there on foot? Nice meeting you, Prince. And I'm glad I met someone who knows about my destination. Of course. I've heard about the land. I even know a lot about the emirate. It is the largest emirate I know of. It is even bigger and more influential than ours. I'm the prince of Guarida town. It is a little away from here. Come closer and have some fruits. Thank you, Prince. Today is a blessed day in the history of our kingdom. I would like to commend you for your good job of enrolling your children to school and also encouraging them to be serious so as to acquire the Western education and Islamic education. The benefits of education cannot be overemphasized. And it's a stamp for a brighter future. I want to use this opportunity to donate this land to be used as a site for the new school. God bless you all.
or are you together with? Your Majesty, I would like to introduce my friend to you, Bello. He's on his way to Salvana. Young man. Your Majesty. Welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. You can take him to the guest house. Yes, Father. When did you buy the land in question? Your Majesty, I bought the land about two years ago after my pilgrimage to Mecca. It was in the presence of three witnesses, the village head and two other men. I swear to Allah, he's not telling the truth. Your Majesty. Be quiet, Manajuko. Don't be pushy. al Haj Namadi. Are your witnesses around? Yes. Your Majesty. That's good. Let's hear the cause sides of the story. Your Majesty. I swear to God, my brother did not sell the land to him. In fact, he was in our house a week ago, insisting that we should sell the land to him, or else he would bribe his way to take it over. Then I told him it was our family inheritance, and we had no intention of selling it. Male Ilyasu, al Namadi here claims that he bought a piece of land that belonged to the Dikos family and that you were there when he bought it. Is that true? Yes, Your Majesty. My Lord, be silent, man and Duku. It looks like we have some conflicts here. So I suggest we make them take an oath. al Namadi, are you ready to swear on the Holy Quran? Your Majesty, I suggest that our village head be the one to swear on the Holy Quran. You just have to swear on the Holy Quran and the other witnesses have to do the same. I think uh, 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 nobody, nobody should be the right person to do that, Your Majesty. So you are shamelessly bribed to seize the land of the poor and innocent people who have been put in your trust? Listen to my judgment right now. You have been removed from your throne, effective from now. This is my judgment. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Your Majesty, the Prince is here. Greetings, Mother. Greetings, my son. Greetings to you, Your Majesty. Greetings, my son. Mother, please meet Bello, a friend of mine. He came from a distant place. Bello, I hope you enjoy your stay in our land. Thanks for the hospitality, Your Majesty. Son, Take him round to greet the other royal mothers.
Greetings, Prince. Mother, please meet Bello, a friend of mine. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, my son. Hope you are enjoying your stay in our palace and of the company of the prince. Of course I am. It's a great pleasure to find myself in your kingdom. That's lovely. Um, where are you from? And where are you headed to? I'm from a distant land, and I'm headed to Salvana. Salvana, Salvana, Salvana. Oh, 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 I remembered the land of the powerful king, Salva. Of course. That's beautiful. Prince. Yes, my queen. Hope you take him out to show him some of our cultural entertainment. Definitely, my queen. We live in peace. Same, my son. I am really impressed with these dancers and the entertainers. You have got a very rich culture in this land. Bello, you are a friend of mine. Just call me by my real name. Oh no, your highness. You are not a commoner, but a prince of a large and powerful kingdom. I insist that you call me by my real name. Your highness. Here you come again. Oh. I'm sorry. How do you see our entertainers? Mmm, splendid. That has been a wonderful lesson, my prince. Of course, my friend. Thanks for the tutorial. And about the Oroso performance, I really marveled at the way you were attracted to it. I have been in love with the show since I was a kid. The way they perform has always been amazing to me. So, my friend, is there anything that we can do today? As you wish. My prince. Okay, so we can go to the garden and have some fresh air. Thank you, my prince. I appreciate your kind gesture. 
Shall we? Bello, Her Majesty, Kuna Amira wants to see you. Your Majesty, here is the guest. I'm coming. Have a seat, my bello. <laughs> bello, you are no more a stranger to the palace. You are now part of us. Please come closer. I heard you're a man of letters. Yes, your highness. I therefore want you to be my private teacher. I would rather you use the palace tutor. <laughs> Please have some fruit. No thanks, your majesty. Oh. I want you to remember one thing. I'm a queen. The king's youngest and best wife. So you have to follow my orders. Your Majesty, you should ask the king's permission. I need no one's permission to do as I please with my personal and private life. But... No. Just do as I say. As long as you want to live in peace in this palace. I give you just a day to think over it. Now leave. May you remain blessed, great lady. Son of the king, son of the king. Your Majesty, I have seen Bello now. This is. Yes, your hands. Alright, tell him to come and see. Why have you stopped? Please come into my room. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I have to be frank with you. The king is my husband. And I'm a young woman who deserves a young man like you. <laughs> so, 
if you give into my wishes, I will make sure you become very powerful and you get whatever you want in this palace. My queen, I don't say it moral to bite the hand that fixed me. And above all, what you are asking me to do is completely wrong in our religion. And I can go against my religion. I know you, and I know where you are heading to. How do you mean? I have a powerful seer who knows and sees everything. So, are you willing to give in to my authority? My queen, I would rather die than do that. Our guest, Bello, has violated our religion and tradition and also betrayed our trust by attempting to rape my youngest wife. This is quite unfortunate. And I couldn't believe it that this should be the reward of keeping the stranger we treat as our own. For this reason, I... No! I swear to God, Bello is innocent. I was there. Amira! tried to lure him into having an affair with her, but he rejected her advances. You should fear God, Queen Lami. Your Highness. This could be a sheer jealousy and an attempt to use the moment and lash out at her. Believe me, it is true, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, everybody in this palace knows that she hates me and she's jealous of me. I heard her telling some of her servants that she would destroy my reputation. And I even saw her having a private discussion with this evil stranger. <laughs> they have planned all this thing, no, Your no, Highness. Tell the king the Enough! I am the one to decide. Take him out. You should not worry about the allegation made against you by Queen Amira. I know her and all her tendencies. She's a lying bastard. Everybody knows you are innocent. You have no idea how much I appreciate your kindness. I cannot thank you enough, my prince. May Allah reward you. I must offer you some money and valuables you can use in the course of your journey. Thank you, my prince. Thank you, my prince. 
Go in peace, my friend and dear brother. Your Majesty, the subsidiary kings of Galma, Gunjeri, Kumasu, and Jauri have all brought their annual packages as usual. And I have seen them all. And I'm happy they brought such beautiful things. But we should also remember that. This is for the purpose of the protection we provide them against external aggression. 
May the king be blessed. So, be specific about the contents. Your Majesty, from Gadma, a treasure of cowries, a hundred slaves, sets of royal regalia, horses and boxes of gold were brought. Also from Kumasu and Jowri, we have had the same things as from Galma. On the other hand, Your Majesty, Gunjere King has brought you 200 sheep and goats and some boxes of gold. Finally, Your Majesty, Dumana King has sent you hundreds of sets of your favorite royal attire. We appreciate their royal gesture. This is a sign of respect and honor to this palace. And this palace is obliged to protect them. As for that Dumana King, his treatment of this palace is not only stupid, but insane. What does he think of himself? May the king be blessed. <clears throat> Send letters to the obedient kings, appreciating their kind gesture and assuring them of our commitment to their security and protection. As for that Dumana idiot, send a letter to him, commanding him to vacate his throne in a few days, or else Gagarin will deal with him. Um, this is uh, Bello. He seems to be a stranger. That's why I brought him to you. Thank you for bringing him. You're welcome. Bello! Malam! Welcome to the land of Salbana. Thank you, Malam. I am a traveler from a very distant land. I heard about this great land and great people of your kind. As a man of latest in Western education, I always wanted to come to this land so that I could learn Islamic theology. You will always be welcome in my house. I'm grateful, Mala. Sado. Yes, sir, Imam. Thank you for bringing him. Bello, welcome to the land of Salbana. Bello, please have a seat. very bad mood, Queen Saratu. I hope there's nothing serious. My malam told me that Queen Hajo is responsible for the death of the two sons we had for the king. I'm not at all surprised to hear that. I've been suspecting that for long. Yes, it is true. My malam never fails me. He told me that she did that because she can't stand to see a boy grow up to be the heir to the throne. That woman is evil. I thank God that she can't benefit either because a girl can't be king. You can't bet on that. I heard from an authentic source that the king is scheming to change the traditions to make a woman succeed him. That's madness. I will never allow that happen over my dead body. My daughter, I am not getting any younger. You need to get married. I promise I'll follow your instructions, Father. I have heard that expression several times. And I also want to know what is between you and Amadou. Your Majesty, I swear to God, I don't want him. He can never be a good husband, and therefore, he'll be a terrible son-in-law to you. You are the apple of my eye. I will not get you married off against your wish. 
I don't care about Amadou or whoever. All I want is for you to get married. If you can't make a choice, I will help you make one. Your Majesty, I know you want to see me happy. Of course. I want you to give me one last chance. I promise I'll present a suitor to you. In that case, I give you one month to bring forth a suitor. If you do not do so, I will go ahead with my plan. Are you comfortable with that? Yes, I am. Thank you, Father. You can take your leave. don't care. Your Highness, the Princess, my would-be Queen. No. How are you doing today? I don't know the kind of person you really are. You seem to never give up, even when you know you're only chasing shadows. How would I ever give up when I know you're a queen I can die for? Well, I'm afraid it has to come to an end. Listen to me. Don't you dare show your face to me again. Or I'll have you disgraced. No. no. I'll never marry you, no matter what. No, no, no. You can't do that. Look, you have to get serious and get ready to marry your Amadou, please. Get out of my sight. Or Elias Ogagari will deal with you. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, sir. Today we have a new teacher, but he is different from the rest because he is to help with almost every subject in our curriculum. So he is a versatile teacher and he will give his service free. <laughs> Gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you Malam Bello. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, sir. I'm happy to tell you that I will be here with you, teaching you out of the little knowledge God has given to me. As a teacher, I hope you would give me the desired cooperation throughout our being together. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Wally. Wally. Yes, my lord. Welcome, my lord. What's wrong with you, my lord? It's the king. The king? Yes, the king. He's not encouraging his daughter's relationship with our son. The girl is giving Ahmad a tough time and he's doing nothing to stop her. No, this has to change. You should take it easy, my lord. Our son needs to put more effort. Effort? Everyone knows that he loves the princess and she has to marry him. What I'm saying is that he should put more effort in trying to win her love. But you should remember that you can't force her to go against her wish. Which wish? Which wish? 
I've told you time after time that we had manipulated the tradition of the land to make it possible for her father to maintain his role on the throne. And the king knows that I played the most important role in the whole idea. Therefore, it's now his turn to make my son his son-in-law. But you need to be more patient and careful. Hmm. Woman, if Amadou marries the princess, he will be the sole heir to the throne and you will be the royal mother. That is more reason why you should be careful. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. <sighs> Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. Yeah. My name is Bello. And I am new to the town. Oh. And I'm Ilas Gagari. And a famous person around. You don't have to mention it. I had it already. <laughs> I'm a teacher. If you don't mind, I would like to be your friend. Oh. Well, I am a farmer, hunter, businessman, and at the same time working at the palace as King Salva's head of guards. That's great. And for your friendship request, I would say you are welcome. Thank you. You say your name is Bello? Yeah, 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 I'm Bello. Well, uh, so Bello, where are you living precisely in the town? Yeah, I'm living in Imam's house. Imam's? Yeah. Okay. I'm getting accustomed to the new settlement. And it's a nice place. Your people are friendly to say the least. That's Salbana for you, young man. We are nice and peace loving people. Slow alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Amir, I'm done with your slate. You can have it. I have started working at the school, and I teach adults. That's great of you. I forgot to mention to you that I have started working on a book on the history of Salbana traditional institutions. And I think I need some people who are close to the palace. Can you please suggest two or three people who can give me enough access to the palace archives? Of course. That will not be a problem. I think I would suggest... Um, Darimi? Shamaki? And... Ilyas Gagari? Ilyas Gagari? Do you know him? 
I met him yesterday at the town square. Those three people I have mentioned know the palace like the backs of their hands. Inside of the king. Well, I can see some new faces in my class. Gentlemen, your name please? Awesa Hamisu. Awesa Hamisu. Welcome. And you too? Ibrahim Adam. Ibrahim Adam. Welcome to my class. Gentlemen, and you too? My name is Barde Habibu. Barde Habibu. Welcome to my class. Thank you, sir. And you too? I am the Shamaki of Salvana. Welcome to my class, Shamaki. Thank you. Well, nice meeting a group of determined elders like you. All praise the all powerful king of Salvana. As you all know, the tradition of the Salvana Palace allows only the male children to be heirs to the throne. May the king live long. But tradition is a convention, and convention is a man made phenomenon. As such, traditions and conventions can be changed by man. As His Majesty pleases. You all know that I have only a daughter. So I want this convention to be changed so that my one and only daughter can be my successor. Your Majesty, this is a very serious matter. To change the tradition is not an easy task. Waziri, I want solutions, not precautions. Uh, uh, um, uh, um, your Majesty, I'd like to suggest a solution for your consideration. I feel that the princess should get married. And we hope by the grace of God, she'll give birth to a male child and that child can grow to be the heir to the throne. But what do you think will happen if I die before she gives birth to the child? Or before the child comes of age? Galadima, you are in the best position to answer this. With due respect, Your Majesty, we expect you to live longer than any of your predecessors. You will live to see your great-grandchildren grow into men and women, Your Majesty. Galadiwa, just answer me. You know how precious my time is. I think, Your Majesty, the husband can occupy the throne before the child comes of age. I am very much comfortable with this idea. Go ahead, Bello. You can ask me anything. Why do people seem to fear you? I am the greatest fighter in the land. And the king's chief of guards. What do you expect of a man of my personality? Oh, that's great. I really like to see you hunting. That means you need to go with me deep into a deadly forest. My friend, it is better for you to keep enjoying your easy life. Forests are not meant for men of letters. That's the reason why I must follow you. At least, I can get some experience that I can share with my kids someday.
السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام بيلو why are you still awake don't you see it's very late mother i thought you were in bed already of course i was i was just coming back from the bathroom when i noticed the light from your room you have been reading the whole day bello i think you should have some night rest mother our school exams are around the corner despite all this you have to rest okay mother may allah help you thank, thank you, you mother good night good night My lord, you seem jovial and excited for the last two days. Tell me, what's going on? Well, it looks like my chance of a lifetime has finally come. My son will someday be king and you be royal mother. <laughs> what do you mean? Listen, woman. I have finally won the battle against the Salba himself. This is no joke. <laughs> Can you be specific? Oh, all right. The king confronted the king makers with the issue of changing the tradition in favor of his daughter. In favor of his daughter? Yes. He wanted her to be the heiress to the throne. And no one dared to challenge him? Your husband did! I told him point blank that it would never be possible in this land. And you know what? The whole palace supported me. <laughs> That's my husband. Then tell me what happened next. Well, uh, he asked what would be my suggestion. And I told him the princess should get married first. And when she gave birth to a son, the son would then be the heir to the throne. And no one told you to leave the palace? They wouldn't dare do that, my dear. Instead, His Majesty agreed right away. God of mercy. <laughs> the princess should marry my son, Ahmad. Princess, did you hear what is happening at the palace? What? That whoever marries you, he or your son, will turn out to be the true heir to the throne. Mm-hmm. Well, I can see that Amadou is really left. Stop it. I'm warning you. Don't ever mention his name to me again. Oh, I thought... I, I said, said stop, stop it and shut, shut up. She said that you should keep quiet. Hey man, stay back. What are you here for? And who gave you the right to speak to her highness? I just heard her shouting. Get lost. It's all right. Leave him. Leave us. I'm deeply sorry, your highness. It's okay. However, I'll have to ask you who you are and what you are here for. My name is Bello, your highness. I am an ordinary teacher and also a stranger in the land. Why did you describe yourself as ordinary? Yes, ordinary, your highness. Just a teacher, nothing more. How can a teacher be ordinary? To me, a teacher is an honorable person. I can't say you're wrong, Your Highness. Anyway, I have to go. No. You're going nowhere. I'm a student who just found herself a teacher on a silver platter. I don't think I'm stupid enough to let you go. <laughs> you are really a funny lady, Your Highness. Well, 
Maybe you are right. Excuse us. In search of the king. In search of the king. You can sit properly. Thank you, Hannes. Can we start the lesson now? You are amazing, Your Highness. Where do we start from? A, B, C. <laughs> Go in peace. I'm sure God will protect and guide you wherever you are. To me, a teacher is an honorable person. I can't say you're wrong, Your Highness. Anyway, I have to go. No. You're going nowhere. In October 1902, the 11th Sultan of Sokoto, whose name was Abdurrahman, died. At the time of his death, he was living in a town near Sokoto called Wurno. And it is there that his successor was chosen. Your Highness. Teach me more, please. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I don't want it to be too much for you. Your Highness, that's all for today. Highness. Huh? Garbati, get up, get up, get up. You may just leave us. Why are you here? Any problem? Your Highness, I saw the princess smiling and chatting with one stranger, Bellu. In all likelihood, they are deeply in love with each other. The princess? Okay, listen. This is what I want you to go and do for me. You go there. Find every single detail about him. Who he is, where he is from, and his status, if any. And if you do that, I will reward you beyond counting. Can you do that for me? I see that done, Your Highness. Very good. She deprived others of happiness. She can never ever be happy herself. <laughs> At least a woman can't be king. And they say, the evil that men do lives after them. You can say whatever you wish to say. But take notes. My grandson or my son in law can become king. And if it ever happens, what will you do? Oh, oh. So you want to kill the king, the same way you killed our male children, right? May God forgive me for such utterances. I'm leaving. <laughs> we cared so. Inside of the king, inside of the king. Your Majesty, the king of Gulama has accepted his fate. Mm. It was stupid of him in the first place have done what he did. Who is he to even think of disrespecting our king? Your Highness, this will serve as a lesson to those who dare play jokes with our powerful king. We appreciate the fact that he accepted our directives. 
this speaks of his regrets and repentance. We hereby order the king to go back to his throne. However, he shall be warned not to repeat a similar mistake in the future. As His Majesty pleases. Your Majesty, remember, you are still the acting king of Salpana. Oh yes, you know full well that you are yet to carry the royal ritual star. I mean the Tanga. Just a moment, my king. Just open the door. Okay, the king is waiting. Okay, they can we? He's acting king. Just open the door. Okay, okay, let's There's a knock. Rankedi. Tanga has changed direction. Tanga may not be human, Rankedi. But that doesn't mean she is dead. She is living, mobile, and more so immortal. Hapa, I know all that. He is still waiting. But he's not the legitimate king. We have to tell him the truth. He can't take the Tanga. Okay. Let's go and meet him. Yeah, Imam. Yes, Velo. I just want to know something about Quran and science. Well, science and Quran are related. This is evident from researches conducted by uh, scholars like uh, Ibn Sina. He cited relevant examples from the Holy Quran using verses of the Holy Quran. Hey, you, Velo. How about your highness? At least greetings should come first. After all, we are all Muslims. Imam, it's none of your business. What exactly do you want? I will put you in trouble. The kind of trouble you can never imagine. Is that a threat or what? It's not a threat. 
It's a promise. Let's go. Hello. Please stay away from the princess. I know Amadou. He's a devil. And I know what he's capable of doing. He can harm you. Bismillah Waziri. Your Majesty King Salba, having read your letter, His Eminence the Sultan has ordered me to ride to your palace, telling you of the good tidings. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. We have an emergency here. There was a strange sound coming from the room nine where Tanga, the royal ritual staff, is being kept. No one knows for sure what it is all about, and everyone is in fear of what is to happen. Your Majesty. Tanga cries when there is something important at stake. Your Majesty, if the palace can remember, during the reign of the King Suleiman, Tanga used to cry whenever there was something serious or important. It also happened during the reign of King Abu Bakr while the palace was in session. It later came to the palace knowledge that it was nothing but the drastic weather change, Your Majesty. Well, for now, Your Majesty, we have nothing to worry about Tanga's sound. We hope so. As His Majesty pleases. Ben, where are you? Come, come, come. Are you really sure you can take it? I know how they delay it is. And I will never risk my life if I'm not sure about it. That's good. See it. This is the royal staff. And if you are not what you claim to be, don't you dare endanger your life. How can I be convinced it is the royal staff? I'm not joking, Balambello. Watch and see. See, you cannot take it. You cannot even touch it. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Go, 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 Let's go, 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 go. You cannot take it. Tanga. Princess, you really took everyone by surprise. The man you have chosen is now the top of the town. You are right, Zoira. And everybody has been talking about how nice and caring he is. Above all, he has given many people a helping hand without anybody knowing. He is not just a teacher, but also a good Samaritan. Mm, by the way, the man is really handsome. I don't understand. Jamala, did you just call him handsome? Are you trying to snatch him from me? Oh no, who am I to do that for the princess? Well, whatever. Bello is mine and mine alone. And you girls should get ready for our marriage. Oh no, I can't wait for that day. <laughs> oh yes. 
Will you care for some banana? Yeah, here he is. Hello. Yes, I'm. News has reached the palace that you are a runaway criminal who murdered a person in Guarida before coming to this land. What exactly is happening? Imam, you are guess is a murderer, a ritualist. I don't believe it. Bello cannot commit such a crime. The palace has been informed this morning that he killed a person in Warida before coming to this land. No, sir, no, it is true. The news came from Guarida Palace. And for that, we are taking him to the palace. Guards, <laughs> take him. My people, it has come to our notice that this stranger Bello is a criminal who killed someone in the kingdom of Guarida before coming to our kingdom. He is not only a criminal, but also someone who tried to deceive this palace into giving him in marriage the hand of my daughter, Princess Ramlatu. He is such a useless, deceitful ritualist and also an evil murderer. My people, I am neither a murderer nor a ritualist. I am your legitimate king who has come to take his place. This is crazy and sheer madness. Take him out of here! Raj! Take him out! Your Majesty, this can be a conspiracy against this great palace. I remember the world is watching us. Your Majesty, we have a way of proving him wrong for everyone to see. Make him take the royal ritual staff in the presence of everyone so that people would not be suspicious. That's a great idea. Tanga is here, Your Majesty. Tanga is here, Your Majesty. Kandisha Maki. Han Kandisha Maki. Your Majesty. Tanga is here, Your Majesty. Greetings, the good people of Salbana. Here before you is the royal ritual staff, popularly known as Tanga. For centuries, Tanga has been used to prove to the world who the real kings are. This stranger, Bello, has claimed to be the legitimate heir to the respected throne of Salbana. 
the palace hereby challenges him to take it. Your Majesty. Before taking the tanga, I would like to ask the palace of a favor. To please listen to my brief story. I gathered you all here to tell you about an important issue. Shamaki. Yes, Your Majesty. Take Lamid home. Lamid, go home. My son Lamido is only five years old and I think he cannot be a king at this tender age. <clears throat> In view of that, I deem it proper to entrust my family, my son, my treasure and everything I have to my good friend, Sanisu. So I want you all to bear witness. No, Your Majesty. Why are you saying this? You're not going to die. Of course, I must die. Now, Galadima and the rest of you, I want you to do me one last favor. I want you to crown Salisu as my successor, to act as king before my son Lamido comes of age. And I also want you to undertake that you will see the throne handed over to him when he comes of age. Your wish is our command, Your Majesty. We promise, Your Majesty. As His Majesty pleases. Get well soon, Your Majesty. Allah wa kalafia. Wish you a quick recovery, <clears throat> Your Majesty. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Abdul Rahim. Salaam alaikum. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Something has to be done. Both of them should not see tomorrow. Carry out your duties. It is not your majesty. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Is that you, Gagari? It's urgent and important. What is going on? Your Highness, the acting king is planning to kill you and your son Lamy before tomorrow morning. Oh my God. Your Majesty, where is the Queen? She is nowhere to be found in the royal house, Your Majesty. She is very important. Find her and her son. Cause that it done. Cause that it done, Your Majesty. Who do? Who do? Hope you will find her, Your Majesty. I hope so too.
Urdu. You go this way and check every house around. Go this way. You follow him. Your Highness, come out. Sneak, move to that direction. You didn't see them. You didn't see them. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Follow me. Come on. Instead of keeping his words, the king became power drunk and therefore decided to remain on the throne by any means necessary. Atara. <laughs> I am Lamino, the legitimate king of Salbana. <laughs>